Welcome to Creative Tian Channel. Today we have another project on our LK150 knitting machine. I'm going to knit a hairband with ear covers. So it will be very warm in the winter and it's still very small and lightweight. So it's easy to carry around. And for the yarn, I have a sports weight yarn. First, the construction. I cast down from left 48 to right 48. So totally almost 100 stitches. And of course, depends on your head size, you can change around the stitch count. And uh, I'm going to use short row for my ear covers. So I have ear covers around 18 stitches on both sides. And for the edge, I leave 16 stitches. 16 stitches and 18 stitches for the ear. And the center, I have 32 stitches. So let's get started. Now I finish my e wrap. I have my tension to number eight and my mast tension is number five. Now I'm going to need plain stitches for 15 rows. So I change my setting back to zero and need 15 rows. Add weight. Now I need 14 rows. Now I'm going to start the short row. So according to my calculation from my sample, I have 16 stitches on both sides and then 18 stitches for the ears. So here I have 16 stitches. Sixteen stitches, I place it to D position because we are going to do short rows and I don't want to need this part. And then 18 stitches. That's 18 stitches. The rest of the stitches, I place it to D position. For short row, we place the Russell lever to number one. So the stitches in position D will not need. And now we will start our short rows. And since I only want to work on the ear stitches, and our carriage is on the right side, so we have to bypass those stitches. And I can just place these needles to the C position. So these few stitches will be knitted. This way the working yarn will be back to the ear section. And we're going to do the same way as uh, socks knitting for the short row. I like to reduce to one third of stitch and then back out to the total of the 18 stitches. So we have 18 stitches here. So one third will be six stitches. And for the first part of the short row, I like to pick the stitch that's opposite to the carriage. So that's this one, push all the way out. So this one will not be knitted. And we can start our short row. Now we want to put all the stitches on the right side back to D position because now the working yarn is in the center and I'm going to keep the first 16 stitches in D position and we will continue our short row. And for the first part of the short row, I push the needle that's opposite from the carriage out. And the, the previous needle, place a yarn below the needle. And we'll need one row. 
and now we push this needle all the way to D and then place the yarn below the previous needle like that and we can keep going place a needle below and push the opposite of the carriage needle to D and don't forget to add weight because the stitches will become very loose in this section And we'll keep going until we only have six stitches left. Now we have six stitches. We need the last one. Now we finish the first part of the short row. We want to do the reverse short row. For me, the easiest way is to start with the needle that's close to our carriage side. So we try to return this needle to working position. We just place it back to the C position here. And you just pull it back until the latch is slightly open. And at the same time, we place the yarn below that stitch. So it doesn't create any holes. And then we will knead it back. And now we do it on the opposite side. Place a yarn under the first needle here and uh, place the stitch to C position. Now the right side, back to C. Place a yarn below. And we'll keep going until all needles are back. And also make sure the tension is not too loose here. Now we have all 18 stitches back. We are done with this short row and we just created the ear flap. Next we can just cut off the yarn, leaving a yarn tail so we can weave in ends and then we can start working on the other side. So I'm going to move my carriage to the left side just by pressing this button down and lift up. Now I'm just going to rehand the weight. So I move my weight up and I can push all the stitches out. Now everything's in the D position. Now we'll repeat the same on the left side. I will count 16 stitches and then 18 stitches for the ear flap. So that's 16 stitches and then 18 stitches. And the rest will be all in the D position. And make sure we still have the setting for the show row. That's Russell Lever 1. So the D position needle will not need. Now we'll thread the needle and repeat the same. And just like before, I want to have my working yarn starting here. So for the first 16 stitches, I'll place them to the C position. 
So you will knee back. So I can just place all of them to C position. The ear flap and the stitches outside the ear flap. And at the same time, I'm going to knee my first row of short row. So that's opposite to the carriage. Just move all the way to D. And start knitting. And then we're going to place the yarn below the needle we just pulled out earlier so we can prevent holes. And we want to push all the 16 stitches back to D. Now we can just focus on the short row. We already wrapped the yarn under and the opposite needle we will push it to D. And knee one row. Now we place the yarn below the first needle and the opposite to carriage put one needle to D position. And we'll continue until we only have six stitches left in the center. Now I only have six stitches left. I can start my reverse show row. So my carriage is on the left side. Place the yarn under the first needle and move the yarn to C position. And we'll just repeat that. Now we are done with the show row. And we want to move our working yarn to the end, to the edge so we can start knitting all the stitches. An easy way to do that is just to cut off the yarn, leaving the tail. And now we thread the yarn again from the mast. And I want to keep all the stitches in the D position. And we can return the setting to plain knitting. So that's Russell level two on both sides. And we'll just need another 14 rows to match our beginning. And then we can bind off. Now that's after knitting the 14 rows, I'm going to take up all the weights and hand the cast down row back to the needles. You can see we create two pockets. That's a short row or the ear flap. And we'll just hand it back to the needle and uh, bind off. I'm picking up the V shape, both legs, and hand it back. That's what we have so far. And if you want to make a hat, you can continue knitting, just plain knitting for a few inches and then reduce half of the stitches by moving every other stitch to the next stitches. And you can thread through the yarn and pull tight to create a top. Or if you just want the simple hatband, we can just bind off. I'm going to knit one row first. That will be easier to bind off because this row is kind of bulky. I move all the stitches to D position first. And then I'm going to hand knit. So I take the yarn of the carriage. I'm going to hand knit one row first. Because it's too bulky to do the machine knitting. And open up the latch will be easier. Place the yarn in the latch and pull back.
After kneading that roll, we can start bind off. <laughs> 